Okay. School dude Clem here, trying to look presentable, because this is a serious video. And this is the second take because last time the microphone wasn't working, so I was just going... And you couldn't hear a word I was saying. Oh, is my hair good? Yes, good enough. So anyway, this is Cool Dude Clem here. So anyway, on to the serious matters now. This is Cool Dude Clem here. And doing his face to camera thing. So you know this is serious. Now, I'm just going to get straight out and say it. And that is, I am really, really, really sorry about the video I did. About the virus and everything. I did not know what kind of an impact it was going to have. I thought, you know, maybe a couple of people might get a little bit miffed, but generally people would be alright with it. And then, you know, I, uh, I, that's, I uh, generally thought you know, it would be okay to upload that video. I didn't know that it was going to offend all of you. And offend all of you really deeply at that. And again, I'm sorry that I uploaded that video. I, um, I'm never gonna, f I'm, I'm never gonna forgive myself for this now. I'm generally not a mean person. I don't deliberately try to hurt people's feelings. And if I knew that that video would be so offensive, I, I would have never uploaded it. So, after I upload this video, I'm going to take that other one down. I'm going to leave this one up for a while so everybody's had a chance to see it. And then I might take this one down too. But yeah, I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. I'm sure you, just as well as me, have your own opinions on things. And, well, I certainly have my own opinions. Some of which I should have kept to myself. I'm just very annoyed and depressed about the things going on. I wasn't really able to restrain myself or even think clearly. I know now, I realise that I said a lot of things that I shouldn't have said. And if it looks like I'm looking over to the side, I've got some notes up on my computer so I don't miss out on anything important. I don't want to believe in this virus. It's just so horrible that it, it, it can't be real. I mean, yeah, things, bad things like this have happened before, but never to this magnitude. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that people aren't dying because they are. It, it happens a lot. You know, people die all the time. It's just that we're hearing more about this now because of the current situation. And the media tends to exaggerate that, you know, um, blowing it all way out of proportion. I mean, most cases of people being infected don't even end in death, but the media makes it sound as if they do. Even if this virus does turn out to be real, which I'm not saying it's not, but if it does turn out to be real, I'm sure that a lot of the deaths, um, as tragic as they are, I'm sure that they're not caused by the virus. I'm sure other things have caused those deaths. But because this virus is the big thing right now, you know, it's the prime suspect on everybody's list. The other thing is, I do think that it's also bestowed a lot of fear into people, and that's naturally made them a little less healthy than they normally would be, so... You know, other viruses that normally wouldn't have affected them are going to affect them now. And of course, whenever anybody gets ill now, they think that they've got the virus. Even experiencing symptoms that aren't even there. Of course, I'm not saying it isn't real. I mean, I, I really, really hope it isn't, but... No, I'm, I'm just saying. Also, I do think people are overreacting to this. 
even to the point of wearing masks so they don't breathe in the bad air. The thing is, if you wear a mask, or a mask, however you want to say it, you know, you're just going to trap the virus in front of your face. It's not going to protect you. And the way people are carrying on, anybody would think we're in a nuclear fallout here. I just wish everything would go back to normal. You have no idea how depressed I am. I mean, let's face it, my life sucks. You might think I have a great life, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, you know. My life is a wreck, and I am a wreck. I have problems. Big problems. You might not think I have problems, but I do. And with all the problems I have, which includes a noisy neighbour who's actually being quiet right now for once, so this would be a good time to make the video. And with that virus going about on the top of all of this, it just made me lose my sanity. It was too much for me to take. I, I don't even know where to begin with the problems I have. Everything around me just keeps changing and I, I can't keep up with it all. My brain just can't accept these changes. I'm stuck in the 90s. I don't, that's why I don't like a lot of modern things. It's too different from the world that I once knew. I never wanted to grow up. I wanted to stay a child. I wanted to stay a child forever. I did everything I could to try to stunt my growth, keep my voice from changing, and I just wanted to stay a child forever. That's why I sound the way I do. But the world grew up and left me behind. And I didn't grow up because I didn't want to grow up. Inside, I'm, I'm still a, a little 11-year-old kid. I don't know how to be an adult. And the adult world scares me. Honestly, it really does. The, the adult world really scares me. I wouldn't be able to cope on my own. I feel safer living as a kid. And speaking of kids, you know, kids these days have motorized toys they can ride on, like um, hoverboards, I think they're called, and other things. You think I don't want to try that? Because I do. I really do. I'd give anything to go back to being a kid and being able to do those things. Of course, I'm too old for that now. I envy those kids. I really do. Just wish I was young. I don't like adult things. I want to do fun kid things. I'm more interested in being friends with kids than I am being friends with adults. And it's not because I'm a pedophile. It's because kids are more interesting than adults. They're more my mental age. I'm, I'm just a kid in an adult, just a kid in a just a kid in an adult body. I don't, I don't even want to think about my actual age. Time just moved on before I was ready. I don't even recognize myself when I look in the mirror now. I used to look in the mirror and see a kid staring back at me. These days, when I look in the mirror, I don't see that kid anymore. It's been replaced by this thing. People think I'm fat. I'm not fat. There are a lot of people who are fatter than me. Back in the good old days, like the 80s, my weight would have been average for my height, but because now we're living in the days of modern European standards where you practically have to be a walking skeleton in order to be considered thin, I look fat in comparison. Way back in the good old days, I used to have friends, good friends, which I saw nearly every day. But of course, they too grew up and left me behind. TV used to be good, music used to be good, films used to be good, and video games used to be good. 
But now it's all obnoxious shows like Family Guy. And music is all EDM and rap. Films are all dark and serious. And as for video games, it's nothing but first-person shooters and microtransactions. These days, it's almost impossible to find good video games, films, music and TV shows that I would actually enjoy. I have a lousy YouTube channel that gets no views, lousy skills at making videos, no resources or tools to build things, which is why the things I make are of such poor quality. People around me cannot resist making noise for more than five seconds, which really annoys me. I live like a kid because, like I said, I'm scared of the adult world. And on top of all of that, I have no money, and especially no friends. Oh, on top of all of that, YouTube started this copper thing. You might be wondering what I have against that. Well, the thing is, I like to watch a lot of cartoons, you know, mostly stuff from my childhood. And, you know, I like to read the comments, see what people think. But because, you know, now we cannot, we, we cannot take data from kids, you know, that might be bad. They disable the comments on those videos. And, you know, I might, want, I might want to comment on those videos. And nobody can now. And nobody knows what anybody thinks anymore. <clears throat> but also, ruins content creators who make kids content. I mean, I'm not someone who makes kid content, but I'm just putting it out there. And with this virus, on top of all of that, which, yet again, is another change, it was just the final gust that pushed me over the edge, which I was already teetering on to begin with. And, um, yeah, I really generally think I went a little bit crazy there. I just cannot move on. I live in the past. And I, I just cannot accept all these changes. I want everything to go back. I have to face these problems every freaking day of my life. And you wonder why I'm depressed? You think I have it good? Well, I don't. I don't like this world. I hate my life, and I hate this world. If summer lasted forever, if everything around me was nice and quiet, like it used to be, if I was a kid again and never have to age, and also have kid friends who never age, and everything would go back to the way it used to be like, that would be perfect. That would be so perfect. I wouldn't have anything to complain about. But of course, we live in reality here, which is terrible. So, I have lots of stuff to complain about. Anyway, now you've seen deep into my soul, hopefully you'll understand. And again, I am sorry. I'm really deeply sorry about that video I made. Um, I'll understand if you'll never forgive me for doing that. I know one person who's not going to forgive me, and that's myself. <laughs>